Director of the St. Lucia National Emergency Management Organization, Kenisha Jeffrey Isambert, has urged residents of the island to respond to natural disasters proactively rather than reactively. Prior to the all clear update given by Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre during the passage of Hurricane Beryl, the Nemo director indicated her great hopes for the improvement in reaction to weather systems with the safety of citizens as a top priority. I am always saying I want my country to get to a point where we are proactive and not reactive. I want us to get to a, a point where we feel we are prepared, we are capable and we are knowledgeable within our communities how to build resilience and build capacity, which include being knowledgeable to know that we can adventure out until the all clear is given, um, knowing how to keep our home safe, keep our family safe. Isimbert also said that the NEMO team has a reliable meteorologist on staff who keeps them updated on the weather, even though she recognizes the St. Lucia Med Services as the official weather source on the island. She pointed out at present NEMO is currently monitoring another system on a similar path as Hurricane Beryl, which could spell disaster for the country regardless of the storm's strength. With the passage of Hurricane Beryl, you would have already have conditions where soils will be saturated. We know we have flood prone areas. We have areas that are prone to landslide. And with the other system coming into those conditions, whether we have hurricane force or tropical storm or even a tropical wave, it is of great grave concern to us because again, with a little bit of rain, and I think um, what from the models that we are following, we may have um, an increase in rainfall, a high amount of rainfall, and again we know what happens in St. Lucia, that is of a concern to us. So again we are monitoring the system, not just burial, but those coming um, behind as well. She reminded citizens once more of the proper channels to keep up to date on the development during storms or other natural disasters. We encourage persons to continue to follow our um, media, social media platforms. We have a, a WhatsApp group chat, well, I cannot remember the number offline, but I will share it with you, um, where you get um, the tips and the, the alerts as it comes. So we encourage persons to join those platform. Follow us on our um, St. Lucia Nemo Facebook page where we put out all um, updates. We also work in with GIS and NTN and we will live giving updates as it comes. So we're asking and encourage persons to follow for those updates and stay informed through Nemo and your med services. September is often the peak month for hurricane activity with the majority of development taking place between mid-August and mid-October. But given how quickly Beryl intensified into a Category 4 hurricane so early in the season, questions have been raised about what will happen next. For Choice News Now, I am Chelsea Austin.